Hi, my name is Latish Sehgal and this is going to be a short demo of WPF Inspector. WPF Inspector is a free open source utility for troubleshooting WPF problems created by Christian Moser and it's available from Codeplex for downloading. Let's look at the different features it provides us. For my sample WPF application, I'm going to use GitHub for Windows. It's one of the better made WPF apps out there, in my opinion, and if, if you work with Git in any form, I highly recommend using this application on Windows. Once I launch WPF Inspector, I see a list of the running WPF applications here. I'm going to select GitHub for Windows and Attach. Once the Inspector launches, I can see the logical tree and the visual tree on the left hand side. The visual tree gives you much more detail and you should be able to see all the elements that you declare in your XAML as well as elements from their templates. If you move to the logical tree um, you'll find that this correlates much more directly to the elements you might have declared in your XAML. If I control click anywhere in my WPF application, the corresponding element in WPF inspector gets selected. If I control shift click in my WPF application, then the corresponding element in the template in WPF in inspector gets selected. If I hover over my mouse over any of the elements in WPF inspector, you can see a preview of what the output for that element looks like. You'll, see, you'll also see a number on the right hand side of each element and this denotes the number of descendants that element has. You can view and edit the properties for different elements in WPF Inspector. So on the right hand side under, under the properties tab I can see the values of all the properties of this element. So for example, if I wanted to change the background color of this grid from yellow to something else, I can just scroll down to background and select a different color value. And you can see the results immediately. If you move to the data context tab, then you can see all the properties for the data context for a particular element. And this really, uh, this is very helpful in troubleshooting data binding problems. If I move to the Triggers tab, I can see all the triggers that are applicable to the element currently selected. The triggers that are highlighted are the ones that are active right now. So for example, um, the, there is no text in this text box right now and that's why the trigger corresponding to text length being zero is active. If I move my mouse over or click inside an element, you'll see the corresponding triggers being enabled. Also, if I type any text, you'll see the trigger for text length zero become inactive. If you move to the styles tab, you can see the inheritance of styles currently being applied to a WPF element. If you move to the resources tab, you can see the list of all the resources that are visible for the currently selected element. Also under all of these tabs, you'll see a search box at the top and you can filter the values shown by typing some text there. So for example, if I wanted to search for resources that had the word dark in them, then I just need to type it there 
and the list should get filtered. Lastly, uh, at the bottom of WPF Inspector, you see some suggestions for improving the performance, maintainability, and stability of your application. And it's always a good idea to check what suggestions it has for you.